Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today let's talk lug nut wrenches. Um, every vehicle should come with one, and generally it's uh, the bare minimum as far as leverage and fit, and you know, it's a generally inexpensive stamped or forged steel. Um, there are all kinds of kind of gimmicky, although some do work well, um, different kinds of aftermarket lug nut wrenches. This one, this thing weighs a ton. It's branded as power built here. Picked this up a long time ago for a song. Uh, uses um, a pair of flip sockets and then an extension because you, you know you have to clear the wheel and you can use it in the center or on on the edge uh, weighs quite a bit though and it, this is as small as it gets you know it's still pretty big um, but i what i've done lately is transition to some dedicated uh, breaker bar heads um, this is one i pulled out of one of my vehicles it's an old craftsman you can see the uh, whoops the, the fit doesn't quite work as well anymore the bearings loose. Um, I actually did take it into a uh, uh, store to see if I could get a replacement. Here, here's the problem. This one's USA made and I would rather have the USA quality. Um, you can see it almost looks a little bent, but um, the quality for something like this than a head that doesn't swivel too easily because a lot of them do once you put a you know a heavy they've got a 21 millimeter deep impact socket on there with, with an extension but pull this out of the vehicle looks like i pounded on this thing but anyway what i'm after is a good solid uh breaker bar style you know it would be great yeah you could put you know your nice big th half inch snap on long handled ratchet in there if you want to have a $200 lug nut wrench, or maybe more, I haven't priced them lately. Um, I have had this one on some overlanding trips. This is a snap-on. Uh, this little guy here uh, stretches out to um, about 20, 23 inches end to end um, when I look at it, you know, in this, big, in this, this bend. But uh, it's again a lot of money, and it's just sitting around. I've had I got a smaller one. This is actually a warranty replacement because I I broke the rivet out of the uh, the old one that I had. Um, let's see, let's see, snap on here, nice and shiny. Hasn't seen a whole lot of use, but this guy uh, has the new rivet. I'm still wondering if this one's going to blow out. Um, it did actually work, even though I broke the rivet. This is the old style. Um, I could kind of hold it together enough, but was glad to flip it out. This is one I'm playing with now. This is a Husky, but it's got that extension. And because that's kind of a big deal, if I can extend out, um, you know, from the end of this down to, let's see, this one's about 24 inches or two feet. And why that's important, obviously, is the leverage. That is a big increase um, in leverage as long as the mechanism works. I just have to hold it out of the camera. Um, so if you're looking at something like this, the difference here, um, you know, I'm looking at, the most I can get is 15 inches um, from basically the center of my, my uh, driving um, uh, line here, this particular vector to where I could grab it. Um, in the middle, and this is this is what I've noticed. In the middle, I've got about 11 inches, well, 10 and a half inches. That's not a lot. Now, a lot of the the, the kind of the traditional uh, X or cross shaped ones. Um, yes, you might have a handle on each side, but you've got a small leverage on each side. And if the people you know who um, you know the the physiologists know that are pushing and pulling is actually a different set of muscles and we have better or you know, more or less strength depending on what direction we're going. Especially if you, you, uh, the more you offset from center, the more you increase that, that vector angle of which, or the angle which changes the, uh, the leverage. So, um, you know, some people try to use those with two, two hands, some people double up, but then keeping it, you know, with another person to try to use it. it they work, they also are kind of limited in, um, uh, in the fit. I've, I have not used one that was, you know, as good a fit as a nice socket. Um, anyway, so I, um, I also know that when you're changing a tire, trying to, you know, loosen the lug nuts, it's not ideal conditions usually. 
Um, if I'm in the, in the shop, definitely, you know, this is my go-to right here, this great big long snap on one. Um, it just makes life easier. You know, I might use an, an impact too, um, depending, but generally I just grab that, pop them loose, and then I'll use a, a small uh, drill or like my surge or something to back all the nuts out. But, you know, I do it manually um, when I break them free. I'm not, not a tire shop. Um, anyway, uh, I've started playing with this. I do see a couple of concerns. You have to know it exists. So if somebody else is using it, they may not realize this is ex an extension. Um, when I've really kind of pressured, you know, applied a lot of force here, I'm not seeing much deflection compared to the, you know, 100 or less foot pounds needed for a lug nut. Um, I do notice though, that if I slide it in and slam it, this sticks. Um, and then if I break it free, uh, I can actually slide it past. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. So if I slide this guy in, whoop, I can pop it all the way out um, in one move. Um, or if you go slow, then it catches. Just a small detent. Basically, I'm gonna use it at one extension or the other. This is the storage. This is the application. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but it, I have found that sometimes I'll slide these back into a corner slot and, they, and you just can't get you know, a longer one in, um, a longer uh, um, breaker bar into that particular spot. In fact, this one, it would be nice if it, they made just a tiny bit smaller one, but there's a lot of compartments that it, literally you could get this in, but you couldn't get this in. So that's, that's uh, where I'm headed. Um, I am after dedicated sockets too. Here's a 19, or I mean, excuse me, a 21. I had a special order from Snap-on because it's a 3 8 inch drive. Um, could I use this for lug nuts? You know, in a pinch maybe, but I don't know if I could break one free, you know, maybe standing on it. Um, I might be able to depending on tire position. Um, but I do know that if I uh, want to set up another system, I could use a standard shorter one, and this is actually from an overlanding kit I'm working on, um, with a uh, wrench, I mean with a socket uh, ratchet, because this particular system um, will work fine for working on lug nuts, which may, be, may or may not come into play, but I will use you know a standard 3 8 inch ratchet for a lot of other things. So I've just kind of got a galvanized piece of conduit here. Um, at this level, it doesn't bend too much, um, and I'm not worried about sacrificing it, but that, that would work. Um, smaller breaker bars like this, uh, I could also use easily without any concern. And again, my, my old Craftsman USA, these just seem to hold up even though there are, um, they are Craftsman tools. And I could easily drop that on wherever my socket went. There it is. You know, leave this in a system like that. So I could use that. I do have uh, other options um, in terms of being able to use the sockets on on different kinds of ratchets or breaker bars. Uh, but these are the the ones that that I'm playing with, and right now I'm leaning towards um, using some kind of an extension. I thought about a few of the inexpensive. Uh, breaker bars, but really, I mean, even less than Husky, but even that, if it, if it dies, you know, I might have a backup with the OEM, uh, one that came with the vehicle, but in all honesty, you know, the one time you really need to, to count on something is probably going to be, you know, that classic, it's in the middle of the night, flat tire somewhere, or, you know, with tire damage, and you need to uh, remove the lug nuts, and the last thing you want at that point is a cheap tool. Um, so I tend to shy away from the inexpensive stuff. Six point uh, seems to work better. This one I did notice um, compared to the wall thickness, uh, I can use this without removing uh, some of the center kind of ornamental plastic covers. This does slide in. Um, I've done it on Toyotas and Subarus. Some of the Toyotas I can get this one over the lug nuts um, as well, but Usually you have to pop out the pieces, so um, be ready for that. Anyway, that's uh, kind of the upgrade I'm working on. Um, trying to figure these things out to make sure that uh, I've got a good solid 
easy to use, especially if somebody's, you know, not as strong. Can they, can they get those lug nuts off? Especially if they haven't been taken off in a while, really, they can be stuck on. Um, so that's what I'm playing with. But I'm also curious what you use. If you upgraded or changed your particular uh, um, OEM lug nut wrench, you know, or what do you put in, you know, a, you know, a car for somebody who's not maybe as mechanically inclined. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments with that. Doc out.